What is going on crypto friends? Welcome to the channel. My name is Farid and as a part of today's video, I'm going to be breaking down or giving you guys an introductory look at a brand new project that I'm going to be covering on this channel, which is IMX. Now, this particular project is aiming to be a decentralized identity solution building on Cardano while also reaching out to other blockchains because they are going to be blockchain agnostic. Now, having said that, I'm going to go ahead and just pull up their website here, which you guys can actually access at IAMX.ID. From here, you can essentially find out about how the project works and exactly what they aim to build using the Cardano blockchain. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to be an introductory look as to what they're actually building. And so what I want to do is just kind of keep things very high level. But this is actually going to be the first video as a part of an upcoming series. So if you guys appreciate this type of content, make sure to subscribe in order to stay updated. Having said that, IMX is going to be the first self-sovereign identity solution provider to reward identity holders, incentivize consumer activity, and comply with the strictest security standards. And so what they essentially are aiming to do is provide users on their platform with a solution to keep track of their identity while also being able to verify themselves on other blockchains or on other dApps, I should say, that are building on the blockchain in a seamless fashion. Having said that, let's just quickly scroll down here on their website. And as we can see, the era of your identity serving as the product controlled and capitalized by big corporations is coming to an end. It is now time for you to take ownership of your own identity. And the team is the first self sovereign identity or SSI for short solution provider to incentivize consumer activity and to comply with the strictest security standards. Having said that IMX is going to be the next generation passport. So again, I think this really kind of sums up what they aim on building and bringing to Cardano. Now they've got a very informative slide deck, which actually I've pulled up in a separate tab here, which we're going to review in just a minute. And then they also have their white paper, which you can also download directly from their website. As I mentioned before, they're going to be collaborating um, with third parties as well. So there's going to be an issuer who will basically be providing the community members, right, which will be yourself and I or the customers with DIDs or digital identities will then be able to essentially use that with partners that they have who will accept the IMX digital identity in exchange for commissions, which will ex actually be go given out, excuse me, to IMX as well as the consumers making purchases using those third party platforms. And so what I want to do here is just quickly highlight some of the benefits of this particular platform. So it says here for individuals, you can benefit from the value of your identity as you enjoy the simplicity of a one click authentication. So as I mentioned before, all you will have to do is essentially get um, KYC or um, undergo KYC, which is essentially just proving that you are who you are through some kind of authentication method. Now, this team is actually planning to use um, telecom providers or teleco providers, I should say, because they already hold some um, authenticated information about some of their user base but then on top of that they will have their own biometric stations right which you will be able to access and essentially provide your ID they'll verify that you're actually providing the ID for um, who you are saying that you are to be um, and then once you do that that information will then be hashed um, and then essentially be used um, across different platforms when you are essentially trying to um, pay using the IMX um, authentication method Next for investors, this will help to shape the Web3 movement. And as an investor, you can enjoy the value of holding the IMX token. On top of that, for businesses, right, you'll be able to essentially have access to global markets without the high cost of onboarding customers, fraud or identity and data storage. So right now, you guys could imagine that whenever you go to, for example, a website like Nike or even a simple website like Walmart, right? You have to essentially go ahead and create an account on that particular platform, provide your name, um, your sometimes your ID, your address, if you're getting things shipped over to you and things of that nature. What IMAX is essentially doing is bringing all that in one single place. So you can essentially kind of think of them as the Web3 version of PayPal. And this is, again, just a loose translation to kind of hopefully make the dot connect for you guys. Having said that, right, you will no longer have to essentially create accounts on different platforms. As long as they're an IMAX um, partner, you'll be able to connect the IMAX wallet, which will hold your decentralized ID or your DID within it. Um, and then from there, just connect your wallet and you'll be able to use this one click option to verify that you are who you are and essentially make a purchase now. Do keep in mind that this team will not be sharing more information with their partners than is needed to actually make the sale. So while you'll be providing them quite a bit of information initially to get that data issue to you, um, they do not plan on giving uh, partners more information that they more information than they need. 
having said that, I also want to just note that the team will not be keeping all of this information um, for themselves. So once your biometric information or your KYC information is collected, they will not actually be keeping that. Again, it'll be hashed um, and then essentially stored and you'll be given the key to that hash. Um, and then once you actually go to verify yourself, um, it'll just be a simple calculation of making sure that the key um, unlocks the hash. Um, and then once that's confirmed, you then basically are good to go. Now for creators, they'll also be placing the power of identity verification into the hands of them, enabling them to verify their own NFTs to establish ownership and authenticity. So you can imagine here for this case, right? Um, you striking up an NFT collection and essentially having a did, right? Which is uh, verified through IMX, um, also tied to the NFT collection. And so again, this will essentially give users who are purchasing the NFT collection a little bit of peace of mind, knowing that this collection is actually created by who they say it is created by. And as you guys already know, within this NFT space right now, there is a lot of fakes going on. There are additional tools like we have Argus, which will essentially be a platform, right, used to detect fake NFTs. But this on top of that, I think will just make this ecosystem that much more robust. Now, when it comes to the actual self um, sovereign identities. I just want to quickly explain what that means. And then I want to review this diagram, which is essentially a flow of how the IMAX protocol works. So a self-sovereign identity or SSI for short is a model for managing digital identities in which an individual or a business has a sole ownership and control of their personal data. So in short, what this means is that with an SSI model, you will essentially be in full control and ownership of your information, and you will no longer be able to be monetized by bigger corporations like we see right now in web 2 now i do want to just quickly state a few problems before i dive into this particular diagram here and so the first problem right now for individuals is as i mentioned you your information can be commercialized right and so when you go to sign up for certain places sometimes you don't understand what you're essentially signing up for um, but sometimes that information that you share with companies is actually used and sold um, essentially for marketing and other purposes the second problem for individuals that imax will be essentially addressing is that right now the ecosystem punishes individuals without an identity, right? So in third world countries where people don't have an identity, businesses are less reluctant to essentially do work with them. And so again, the IMAX solution will aim to solve that. On top of that, right now, um, there is an issue with redundancy, right? So as I mentioned before, if you go to sign up on a particular website and then you want to go to another website to make another purchase, you have to create another account because those two websites don't necessarily talk to each other. So from an end user standpoint, it does get, it does get a little frustrating having to create accounts on separate platforms. Now, when it comes to solutions, right, you'll be able to benefit from the value of your identity again, in the sense that you will not be able to have your information shared without your actual permission. Second, you'll be able to give identities to the unidentified. And so again, you could imagine that in places like Africa, um, India, South America, and even Asia, there are people that don't necessarily have identities and essentially they're not able to own anything or at least le legitimately own anything without being able to prove that they do so using some kind of identity solution. The third benefit is that, again, you'll be able to enjoy the simplicity and the security of a one-click authentication, which, as I mentioned, will be reusable, right, across different platforms. So you undergo KYC one single time, and you're then able to essentially connect to all the partners and also earn a little bit, right, which I'll talk about here in just a minute, um, as a part of the IMX solution. All right, so let me jump back over here, and let's, let's actually talk about how this is actually going to work. So number one, and let me get myself out of the way here. Number one you will be able to essentially contact an issuer, right? So that's what we have here at the bottom left-hand corner. Now, who are these actual issuers? Right now, that could be telco or telecommunication companies, banks, regulated tech companies, or even the state. Now, keep in mind that while they might be collaborating with the state, none of your information is actually being shared with these dates that are mentioned here. So let me zoom out a little bit here and I'm gonna pop myself back up. And what I wanna mention next, right, is going to be that in addition to that, once you have your identity, right, which is your decentralized identifier or your DID, that will then be sent over to your IMAX wallet. So here we are as the customers of this platform. Now, once you, once you have your DID, right, it'll be a verifiable credential that contains a data set and then on top of that, it'll be reusable KYC. So for example, there was a recent article, right, by the I want to say it's the AXO trade team in regards to providing KYC in order to essentially use their platform. Now, it's not going to be required, but it will give you additional benefits to deeper liquidity pools if you're on their platform. Right. And so you could essentially get a did issued by IMX and being that they're partnered with the 
Axo Trade platform. Once you head over to Axo Trade, you can essentially connect your IMX wallet there and you don't have to undergo KYC again for a second time. Now, they're also going to be partnering with Mel, which is a DeFi lending and borrowing protocol. And so the same thing, you can use that same exact did to also verify or provide KYC information to Meld as well. So hopefully you guys are starting to see the benefits and the power of this reusable identity that's stored online. As I mentioned before, you'll also be able to select exactly what you disclose within the IMX wallet. Now, once you actually have your DIT issued over to you and it's in your wallet, you can then go ahead and actually um, get that verified through different partners, right? So for example, let's say that they're partnering with an e-commerce company, right? Which is down here below. Um, or a bank or even an exchange or one of their 55,000 different partners, you'll then be able to essentially get a commission. Now that commission, right? For example, here, let's say that you spend 100 USD on a purchase. IMX will actually be given eight USD or $8 US back as a part of a kickback because they're essentially driving more customers to their particular platform, right? In, in collaboration. Now, having said that, 50% of the kickback or the commission, so here it's $8, 50% of that, which will be $4, will be going back to IMX directly. And then $2, right, or 50% of that eight of that $8, excuse me, will be going back to the issuer with the remaining 50% of that $4 um, going back to the actual user. So again, there's gonna be um, a purchase for 100 USD, we have about eight USD being given back over as a whole to IMX. They're gonna keep $4, they're gonna give $2 to the issuer, and then they're gonna give $2 back to the user. So now there's actually an incentive, right, as a user of this platform to essentially continue purchasing and using this decentralized identity, which provides a very secure layer while also providing you guys with an opportunity to also earn on your purchases that you would normally be making anyway. And so again, this is just going to be a brief introduction to IMX. I'm going to be breaking down their tokenomics, the team and their additional functionalities as a part of my follow up video. And so if you guys found this video to be helpful, then please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions about IMX and what they plan on bringing to Cardano, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, I will see you guys in the next video.